it's the only thing worse uh, than being talked about is not being talked about. So from Forest and Birds perspective, having not just national but now global interest in our bird of the century to celebrate our 100 years of Forest and Bird in New Zealand uh, can only be a good thing because it means even more people talking about our beautiful birds. So the international attention is welcome then. If anything, as you say, it highlights the conservation efforts that are underway to save some of these creatures. Yeah, it does. It highlights both the conservation efforts required, particularly here in New Zealand, where if it has four legs and fur, it didn't evolve here. And that means for all of our bird life, uh, anything, any introduced mammals are a major problem for them. So if you think about things like uh, stoats and, and ferrets and feral cats, that kind of thing, the impact of those and the loss of habitat in New Zealand in a very short period of time has meant that Actually, 82% of all of our native birds here in New Zealand are on the threatened species list. So while bird of the century is a lot of fun and everybody gets involved, it's a really important reminder that we can't afford to take our foot off the gas. So the winner then this year will not only be the bird of the year, but the bird of the century, as you say. How does that work? Can previous birds of the year win bird of the century? Well, we've put them back in the mix this year. I mean, uh, Bird of the Year in New Zealand has been a a sort of beloved event or institution since 2005. And for I don't know why reasons, Kiwis just get right in behind it. There's all kinds, there's more sledging that you'd see at an Aussie Kiwi cricket match. So, and we like to have a bit of controversy. So last year we kicked out the kakapo because it had won twice. We thought it was too popular and we wanted to give some of our lesser known birds uh, a chance to, you know, have the spotlight on them. Uh, all of the birds are back in the mix this year except for the bat which won a couple of years ago to sum up for from some members of the conservation society here in New Zealand. Love how people are talking about it but how much of an impact do you think John Oliver's show has had on polling? Will the putiki tiki come out on top? Well uh, my poor long-suffering uh, team, including the web team, involved in trying to process all the votes um, for Bird of the Century have been uh, getting very little sleep, it's fair to say, since John Oliver did his impressive rant about Putiki Tiki because the volume of votes that we've had, not only the sort of landslide number of votes we've had from America and around the world, but here in New Zealand from campaign managers who are determined to punch above their weight and see if they can meet and exceed the votes coming in from overseas. So it's fair to say we have had ridiculous numbers of votes I can, I can safely say that we're, we are into the six figures now. Um, and I don't know um, if you're aware, but we had some other election a few weeks ago here in New Zealand uh, that resulted in the Electoral Commission having to come in and sort out all the special votes. I'm very close to calling in the Electoral Commission to see if they can give us a hand. <laughs> you might just need it. Six figures, is that a new record? Yeah, it's absolutely a record. So uh, to give you an example, uh, last year's total votes, which is a very successful bird of the year last year, um, were, I think, just under 52,000. Um, we exceeded that for the Putiki Tiki alone, as far as I can tell, from the initial votes within a few hours of John Oliver's show playing. So it's had quite a uh, quite an influence, it's fair to say. But, but equally... It has raised people's awareness of New Zealand and our love for birds. It's raised the world's awareness of our weird and wonderful birds here in New Zealand. It's been very useful in terms of supporting us with donations. And I kind of like that this one, the Putiki Tiki, is something that finds its home both here in New Zealand and over there in Australia as well. And it's in trouble in both places. So I guess we're going to have to use our Anzac spirit to try and look after it. You definitely might get some votes from here after this. Now tell us which other contenders could stand a chance this year. Oh, look, we love a fighting chance here in New Zealand and we, we love a, a kind of little guy against the big guy. So uh, I know that the Kiwi campaign manager has come out swinging and uh, uh, put out a press release yesterday accusing John Oliver of foul play and being a B-grade celebrity. 
so Kiwi has got like some big hit in their campaign like the ex-coach of the All Blacks and one of our gold medal winners from the Olympics tucked in their campaign we've also got oh and Kia so our alpine parrot that that loves to be mischievous with humans that's doing very nicely as well but the other thing that we did this year for bird of the century was we put in five species of extinct birds birds that have gone extinct what rough enough within the last hundred years here in New Zealand, just as a, a wee poignant reminder that, you know, we can't afford to lose our vigilance on our native wildlife here in New Zealand, particularly our birds, because we couldn't, we don't want to risk any more slipping through our fingers like the five that are the extinct birds that are currently on the list. Indeed. So how are you hoping to further spread the word about the plight of many of these birds? I mentioned that we had another recent, uh, probably not as popular or fun uh, or exciting uh, election here in New Zealand <laughs> a few weeks ago. Uh, and so we will be working very hard with the leaders of political parties here in New Zealand to remind them just how much New Zealanders, also Australians and now Americans and beyond care about our wildlife and what their responsibilities are going to have to be to look after it. We really do care. Thank you so much. Let's hope all of your campaigning takes flight. We wish you all the best with the Bird of the Century competition and we will be watching closely from here. Thank you and uh, by all means, Australia, you can vote as well. We certainly will. Thanks, Nicola. Thank you.